How's it going guys? It's K Cars, and in this video I wanted to do kind of like an explanation video on the Jeep 4x4 system. Uh, specifically in this video we're going to be talking about the NP231 transfer case and I'm also going to be talking about some of the differences between that and the NP242 transfer case. So basically uh, this Jeep, it's a 2001 Jeep Cherokee XJ. It is equipped with the NP231 transfer case. And the way you know that is because it has two high, four high, neutral, and four low. So that's the main reason you can tell. And I believe if you look at the transfer case, which I'll show you guys right now. If you look at the transfer case, I don't know how well I'll be able to get to it from here. But that's what it is. And I believe there is like a little badge or like a plaque on that transfer case that shows um, what it actually is. So usually the two common ones for these old Jeeps are the 231 and the 242. I believe some of the old Grand Cherokees came with a different one. I think it was the 249. I'm not too sure about that. But anyways, the 249 is a little bit different. I believe it only has like three different selections on it for the transfer case. And I believe those are just um, four wheel drive full time neutral and four low but like i said i believe that one is only for the old grand cherokees now the np231 transfer case is known as the command track and the 242 is known as the select track so like i said we're going to be talking about the np231 first and basically explaining how it all works so like i said in the beginning of this video you have two high so that's what you want to be um, using when you're just on, you know, regular roads, um, dry surfaces. So yeah, two-wheel drive high, that's for kind of everyday driving. Now when you're going off-roading or if the road surface is slippery and loose, then that's when you can shift into four high. Now, you want to be careful with the NP231 because four high, that means four-wheel drive part-time. And what I mean by that, what that means is that the front and rear axles are going to be split evenly. So it's a 50% power to the front and 50% power to the rear. Now that's what part-time means with the 231. Now it doesn't say part-time on here, so you just have to keep that in mind. Whenever you do shift into four-wheel drive high with the 231, um, it'll show up as part-time. It'll have a light that'll light up right over here. It turns yellow. It just says part-time. That's how you know you're in four wheel drive. Now, like I said, it's important to keep in mind if you're in four high part time, which is the only four wheel drive high option for the 231, then you want to be on a loose or slippery surface such as like mud or snow or anything like that. If you're just driving on like a slippery road where you feel like you might need four wheel drive, then you should stick to two high because what can happen if you're in four wheel drive high part time and the road surface isn't slippery, then you can mess something up with the transfer case or the transmission because whenever you're um, in part-time four-wheel drive and you go to turn, you'll notice that your wheels will start hopping and it'll kind of start bouncing back and forth. Uh, that's because, like I said, the front and rear axles are locked together. So there's kind of like a center diff that's locked. So 50% of the power goes to the front axles, 50% goes to the rear. But when you turn, your front axles move at a different speed than your rear axles and that causes your wheels to kind of hop because they have to be moving at the same exact speed. So that's why that happens and that's what you have to look out for. If you have the NP231, you wanna shift into four wheel drive high. Another important thing to note about the four wheel drive system is that you don't wanna shift from two wheel drive into four wheel drive while only your rear wheels are spinning because it's not equipped with a synchronizer. So if you do that, then you can damage the transfer case. Um, so basically if you're like on a loose surface and you're you know trying to get out while you're, while you're only in two wheel drive and your rear wheels are spinning, if you pull this lever to shift into four high, then you can cause damage to your transfer case. So uh, if you're in that kind of situation, you just wanna completely stop then shift into four wheel drive high because your both of your drive shafts uh, need to be spinning at the same speed to have a good shift into four wheel drive. So the next step down is neutral. So that's just in between four high and four low. One use for the neutral position for the transfer case 
That's maybe if you're towing the Jeep behind another vehicle, you can just put it in neutral. So to shift into four low, you should put your actual shifter into neutral and then it'll go right and then all the way back. And then you can be in four low. Now four low, it gives you a lot more torque. So if you're like rock crawling or you wanna go slow but still have like torque and power, then that's when you can use four low. Now in four low, your front and rear axles are still locked. Uh, with the 231, there's actually no option to unlock them, unless you're in too high, of course. So four low, the engine speed will be about three times faster than it would be if you're in four high. So that's what the low means in four low. It's just low range. So while you're in four low, um, you want to make sure that you don't go over 25 miles an hour. Because like I said, it is just for low speed rock crawling and stuff like that. Maybe pulling somebody out of a mud hole. And if you do go over 25, then uh, you could overspeed the engine. Because the engine speed is about three times as much as uh, it would be if you were in four high. All right, so now that I've told you guys how to actually operate the uh, shifting procedure for the MP231, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to actually do it. So as you can see right now, I'm in two wheel drive high. Uh, we're gonna start driving, just so you can see. All right, so that's two wheel drive. Now, like I said, um, you can shift into four high while driving as long as you're below 55 miles an hour. I'm gonna do it while I am at zero miles an hour. So you just wanna take this lever and pull it straight back with constant force while you're in drive. So there we go, we are in four high and you can see uh, the part-time light is up there on the dash. So that's how you know you're in four wheel drive high part-time. Now, like I said, this is only for loose and slippery surfaces. Um, I'm on wet grass right now, so it shouldn't be a problem. And I'm also driving in a straight line, so it won't be a problem. So there we go. We are in four high, as you can see. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to shift from four high into four low. Now I'm gonna attempt to do this while at a standstill. Like I said, it is recommended to do this while you are coasting at two to three miles an hour in the neutral position. So, neutral and then you want to put this uh, you can look at this little diagram right here you move it to the right and then back you don't want to stop in the neutral position so right then back so no problem at all it went right into four low and as you can see the part-time light stayed on because you are still in part-time four-wheel drive now i don't know how well you guys can hear the engine but you will hear that it will be um the engine speed will be higher than it was in four high. It'll be about three times higher. So we're in four low. You wanna make sure you put it back into drive, obviously. Okay, you can hear it kind of like jerked a little bit because it's in four low. Uh, so yeah, if you guys can hear the engine, you can see it starts moving a lot quicker too. So there we go. So yeah, you can definitely like feel the difference with four low. Uh, just because, as you saw, I just barely lifted my foot off the brake and it automatically started driving a lot more than it would if I was in just um, the high range gears. So now to put it back into four high, we shift it into neutral and we can put the shift lever just, um, you wanna push it up so that way and then it'll automatically go back into four high. So I feel like that's four high there we go so that took a little bit um of playing around to actually get into four high so that's why they do recommend coasting at two to three miles an hour just so like the clutch mating teeth can properly align uh, so that's one thing you can run into when shifting into four high um, from four low or into four low from four high if you're at a standstill so just make sure you're, you are in neutral while doing that. And as you saw, it did take a few tries to do that. So that's, I guess that's one downside of doing it while you're at a standstill. Now once you're back into four high from four low, you can put it back into drive and you know, drive around as long as you're on a slippery surface, or you can put it back into two high. And to put it back into two high, you don't have to shift into neutral. So uh, two high is just, all the way down and that's all you got to do 
and then you'll see the part-time light will turn off. So that's how you know you're back into two-wheel drive, and like I said, you can be in drive. And now we can drive around on dry surfaces just fine, and don't have to worry about any kind of wheel hop or anything like that. So that's pretty much all you need to know to operate the NP231 transfer case on an old Jeep. So now moving on to the NP242, uh, there's really not too many differences, except um, on the 242, you do have the option of four high full-time and four high part-time. So basically, um, on the 242, four high part-time is like four high on the 231. Four-wheel drive full-time, it's just that. You can have it on full-time. So it doesn't lock the front and rear axles from uh, like spinning at the same speed. So that's why you can use it on any type of road conditions, even if it's like dry outside. So you don't have to worry about like wheel hop or damaging anything as long as you're in four wheel drive high full time. So part time is when you need to be worried about um, only driving on loose surfaces, such as like mud, uh, dirt, snow, stuff like that. So I hope this video helped to clear some things up about the transfer cases that come on the old Jeeps specifically the NP231 because that's what I have in my 2001 Jeep Cherokee XJ, uh, but also the NP242 because they are pretty similar. The only differences are that the 231 only has four high part-time, and then the NP242 has the option of four high part-time or full-time. So that's one benefit of having the NP242, but I mean, they're really similar, like I said. So make sure you guys read your owner's manual to get a better understanding. And I also hope this video helped you guys out if you had any questions. If you guys have any more questions, make sure to leave those down below, as well as any video suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future. And make sure to subscribe because I am getting this thing lifted and getting new wheels and tires on it. And I'm probably going to be taking this thing off-roading uh, completely stock just to see how it can do and then to see how it compares whenever I get all those mods installed. So if you guys like this video or found it entertaining make sure to like comment and subscribe and also share this video with your friends. Uh, I am trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of this year and as always thanks for watching.